One of the best news for me this week was the report that the Lagos Ibadan Standard Gauge Rail has now been extended to their Papa Port. I learned it is already on test run. Uh, pre independence, the colonial masters built the rails right into our Papa Port because they knew how critical to trade such an infrastructure is. But like we killed everything else, uh, whether it is Nigerian Airways or Grand North Pyramids, we also killed the Nigerian Railways. We substituted the work of one public train with that of 200 private trucks. We killed the jobs associated with the railway, destroyed the main arterial roads of the country, lost lives to avoidable accident as we rendered our rails, a critical developmental infrastructure, moribund. Today, we are at the verge of re-achieving a developmental feat that we had achieved 60, 70 years ago. That notwithstanding, when I think of the prospect that this extension of the standard gauge rail into the port has for trade, for cost of doing business, for our roads, for the risk to lives and limbs, for the environment and aesthetics, one cannot but give kudos to those who conceived this rebirth and those who made it happen. Ditto the Lagos about on standard gauge. I have not been on that train journey, but I have heard glowing commendations from those who did. However, there is more. Apart from the need to provide more trains, both passengers and good trains, we must remind the government that the Lagos port are boarding by almost twice the volume for which they were constructed. Therefore, the rail will only solve part of the problem. The other part should be to invest in some other ports across our coastlines to distribute the excess boarding away from Lagos. As a natural harbor with 20 million population markets, the largest effective demand in West Africa, Lagos will always remain the commercial heartbeat of Nigeria, but we can make it easier to live there. In the same vein, earlier this year, when the Apapa Oron Shoki Road works being executed by Dangote, got extended to my area, the Antony Bagada Axis. And I observed the quality of what was being done excavation, stabilization of the subsoil, laying of the steel, then the concrete. I took a video and I shared. From the various reactions, a particular comment struck me Have they finished it? Will they finish it? It was a genuine fear based on antecedents. However, today it's done. And everybody who passes or passes that road know this is one good road. I'm told it is similar to what was done with the Obajana Kaba Road. Good work. But well, how many kilometers in all are these roads? We need to expand this model, bring on more players, and let us implement the model for some more critical roads. My advocacy. Call this one a tickle on the government. We see the bits you are doing, and we say kudos. But as you know, too, there is much more. Can you please disgrace the second Niger Bridge so that the next government won't have to use it as a campaign promise? Say you also know that we have been on this Lagos Ibadan for seven to eight years. Can we close it out this year? More importantly, we need to bring in more private sector participation into the provision of this infrastructure. And my plea is, can we please make the process transparent? Mm, that transparency. I Bongo. love your advocacy, yeah. I love it. Yes, uh, we know you're doing the bit that you can and you're doing, you got some right, but there are quite a lot that you're still uh, not getting right. And... I join you uh, in I thought you were telling Bola and I didn't get it right. No, 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 no. no. She's talking to the government. Yeah. Yeah. So I joined yeah. Bola. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, they do, I mean, they do that, that, that place, that place that Bola I, didn't get it right. I joined Bola in saying that this journey of a thousand miles, and can we shorten it? Uh, let me quickly add the one in Lagos. Our blue rail and the uh, ah, car rail. That was, Please, that when was are you finishing it? It's been abandoned it. for five years. When no. are you finishing it? Since, when, uh, since Fashola left. When, uh, yes. When a new Can we also finish that when as a new well, government please? Come, if a new government comes to Lagos, they will now say they wasted uh, 20 they years wasted of APC <laughs> Lagos. It's, uh, it's, you see, 
ordinarily, these are not things. I have never, um, in this my short life, because you have many years to live, I have never seen government or political party campaign with all these tying of roads in other climbs. We will tar road, we will provide pipe bomb water. Those things are will, basic. Amenities. Those things are basic. Or we provide light. Those things are, there are. They are given. They are given. Statutorily, you have agencies, it is their responsibility to do those things. In a working system. We had those days, we had highway maintenance department in the Ministry of Works. And we had Wole Wole. We, you didn't need Today to. Today we had to FEMA. We have FEMA. Those FEMA <laughs> have <Yes>. become political. <laughs> You know, to the extent that now a governor will do a pipe bomb water, pipe bomb water. That's manual uh, tap, NYC uh, project, one. and yeah. then the governor will commission it. You will take advert, newspaper advert, which is will be more expensive than the cost of the project, the of the to project. celebrate the governor for the providing one. dividend I of service. democracy. A minister will uh, tar road. And then we'll say, oh, the man has brought dividend of democracy. When you now ask, is this money? They'll say, after all, some stole the money. They didn't, didn't use it. Anything. So this one that is using it. Because you ask a question, how well do we even assess our government? Fantastic. They've done this one. There's need to take it to our, our papa port. If you get there, they already retracts. Okay, two I things. was watching quickly. I was watching a video of a train carrying more than 2,000. 2,000 containers. Yes. One that's, train. That's what the, how it's supposed to be. containers at a go. So that the roads could be free for us and we so, stop losing limbs and lives on the roads due so, to these trucks. On the matter of stealing, I've, hear, I've heard politicians say that um, Nigerians are unsure of what they want. Because once they get into office, if you had, you know, good intentions, right, the, what happens immediately is treasure comes with a health issue, well, it comes with his children's school fees, and before you know, the commonwealth that we're supposed to use to build infrastructure, which is the <laughs> duty of government, we all share it, and all of you go and praise me outside, and that's the end uh, of it. Uh, uh, now, you said that we shouldn't even be, um, in a developed world, we shouldn't even be, you know, um, campaigning for elections with Ame to build road, Ame to... Okay, all the things that President Buhari campaigned with in 2015, a lot of them still left undone. He came back in 2015, 2016, yeah. and said the campaigns were from his party. The manifesto was from his party. Now, he doesn't even nice agree level. with some of them. See. Like 5,000 Naira were very like uh, we create uh, 3 Jumoke, million jobs not, every year. So that we don't conflate the issue. The question is, if you had head plan in place and the hospitals were working, we treasure come to ask you for money? To Bam. go to the hospital. The new person who comes and wants Bam. to uh, uh, advance before we go, about. please look for a, a word from Rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi, I, I read the advocacy before now, and uh, what I want to say is that if you look at uh, the Apapa Port, that's what I want to talk about because that is the station, the commercial station where Nigeria interface with uh, the, the world. world, and then that particular place is impassable. It is completely incongruent, and because it is incongruent. You are asking yourself, don't we have port in Portaco? Don't we have in Calabar? Don't we have even dry uh, port in uh, Kaduna and uh, Kano and all that? But we have not been able to decentralize this thing. What I think the Nigerian government should do is to decentralize and dredge the water channels so that you can decongest that. We have said this over and Bola over again. begged on our behalf and today. Uh, Bolan has pleaded on our okay. behalf today. Um, so the, the <laughs> conversations we have here will be incomplete without you. Um, here is what some of you are saying about last week's program. Responding to the advocacy on religion, social media user Real Truth underscore Hurt says, it is so sad how a nation can become so religious than being educated. This is what a nation gets when we have a lot of religious-minded people than the educated ones. I always ask people, if we say our God is the Almighty and we are still doing fighting and killing all in his name, then what is the need of praying to him to bless the works of our hands and our thoughts? I underscore Kingman says, hypocrisy is when you fly, fight for God in the name of religion created by men. 
and leave God to fight for you when your government has ruined all your lives. <laughs> and instead of <laughs> channeling that same energy for such cause, now Alaji Musa you did fight. <laughs> Madness. Okay. Follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG, on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash theadvocateng. When we get it right, Jumoke has something to say about the astronomical electricity rate in 2021. Stay with us. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, really it, 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 I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.